He's upset. He's letting you know how it is, you know. He became a mill supervisor, and he would make comments to the boys such as, like we used to say to Mingo, mate, it's all about, you know, you've got, you've got to get the output. And he used to say to me, he said, you can call me whatever you want, but don't call me slow down. I remember that so distinctly. There's a few other names that don't call me slow down. He's well respected, has a good sense of humour. He's a man um, you can lean on and will do anything to please. He's a very loyal employee. Ming is a very creative person known for, I tell you what, this guy, he gets, used to get four millimetre copper wire and you'd, you'd strip it for him and Mingo, I'm on shift mate, can you make me something? And he'd be sitting on the mill and this guy would just get this little thing out and he would, by the end of the shift, would make you this motorbike. And I'm not, I don't know if any of you guys have got this motorbike, but <laughs> motorbike and cars, and I tell you what, you would be able to move them and they were just so precision. And I've still got one at home today, I was going to bring it to the but I'll throw it probably use someone to take it, I'll lose it, mate. But i never forget that today at all. So he was always well known for that. You know, he's an asset to a company and a team. And mate, I want to congratulate you on your efforts and your long service. You're, you're an absolute asset. So thank you very much. You started back probably in the Creek Road days. Um, well, again, I'll get through your personal phone just to make sure I've got the nitty gritty. But back in the um, 26 years, 26 years is a brand of cheap. And when you think about it, you know, that was back in Mandarabat. Uh, Cass saw the company right from where it was born, the company we live in today. Right from the day it was born to where we are with one still. This guy's seen a hell of a lot of changes, you know. He was the recipient of the Exemplary Employee Award in 2002, which recognises the value of himself uh, to his workmates and to the company. And to get that award is a pretty special achievement. He loves his soccer. Now, I've heard many a story on a Monday morning about Cass. He used to, uh, Cass, I don't know what position he used to hold Cass, but he used to always go and watch the boys play on a Sunday afternoon down the local soccer club behind Coach Ridge, is my understanding. And we had a bit of a team of the boys together. Uh, a few of the bit, there was a whole mixture of, of guys that used to go and play bogey and a few others. And Cass was on the sideline. He'd be the one throwing all the abuse. He'd be in one, right? Be, <laughs> Hello, there's a bit of reaction. See you, Senator Troy. Yeah. <laughs> I, even heard, I even heard a few rumours that it really go on with the, with the mixture of the, uh, the races and uh, some would be winning or some would be losing with the yellow card and go up the red card. Next minute it was on. And Cass was over the sideline and up the fence and throwing abuse and she was on. Before you know it, the players are there, Cass in the car and he's gone. He's the, <laughs> the boys are telling me about it. So, you know, you love your soccer, mate, and you certainly show your physical emotion and your passion. So, um, he's a person that has so much knowledge, and if you could put it in a box, put it on a computer and share it with everyone, um, Christ, we would have, everyone would be, it'd be great to have that knowledge shared with everyone, because, mate, you're a guy that's been on the entry, uh, you've got your willingness, you've got your passion, and you'd love to see us succeed as a company, and you're, you're very passionate about that. You're a person that's accepted a lot of changes. I mean, you think about the work culture over the years with Cass. He's come from a, um, 
from a culture where you can probably wear shorts, where you can get up on the crane rails, and you can be working 15 metres high, it should be right, mate. Get down, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And how have those things changed now to where we are today? And you're a survivor, mate. So um, obviously you, you've taken that on board, and I've seen the way you show people with the passion to change, and the, the belief in safety and how we're going today. So I think that's a, that's a real feather in your cap. I tell you, if we, if we could have a workforce full of um, the characteristics that CAS displays, I reckon we'd be one of the most successful companies, in the, not in Australia, probably in the world. But my congratulations on your achievements, and it's an honour to be up here talking about your achievements. So come on up. Well, uh, Trees are by the migrated from Vietnam, I'm thinking of the early 80s, um, thereabouts and pretty close, I think. He had various employments, he started to storm when he came over here, and I believe you're a concreter. And somehow, obviously, the muscles have diminished since that time. But, um, yeah, I believe you're a concreter, and I tell you what, I, I read something today which really stunned me that I found out that you end up earning yourself. Um, from the College of Forestry, a Bachelor of Science. Now, I'm blown away to read that, and I think to myself, what an achievement. Like, here's a guy, he's working on the mill, he's making it steel for us today, and here he is, he's got a Bachelor of Science. And I'm thinking, my boy, he must be happy doing what he's doing. You know, like, that blew me out of the water. Uh, mate, Tree, you commenced with Palmer two mills about 1988. And your starting rate, I had a bit of a gander in your little sheets, and it was $8.61 an hour. $8.60. And I'm thinking, my God, you flat out buy a burger for that. $8.60 an hour. Jesus Christ. You know? Exploit and you're a sunny man boy, which must be good. So that's, that's an amazing, you know, you think about how things change over the years, and you go back that far, $8.60 an hour is not a bad start, you know? So you you won the executive employee in March 2001, I believe, um, which is an award for guys that do outside the extraordinary activity. So for the people that don't understand what an executive employee is, it's, it's one hell of an achievement. Um, you know, it's recognised for people to go above and beyond. And mate, you're, you're certainly one of them. So um, you're a team player, you have a spirit, and the passion of the company outcomes. You're all about what, what we're going to do tomorrow and how we're going and what we're going to do going forward. So you've never given up and it's much to be appreciated. You're an asset to a business, mate. You've achieved many different skills throughout the plant. You know, you've been from um, QC, so many, you can rattle them off, but you know, you're a quality control, which is, you know, customers are um, definitely a, a core value. And without people like yourself, we don't get the right quality of our people and we don't stay in business. So. You know, it's much to be appreciated. You're a loyal employee, but I congratulate you on 22 years with the company, and it's a pleasure to uh, live behind you, in front of you. <laughs> All right?